Hey guys, what bomb TV guys? You won't be reacting to Trinity is a false belief. Utman Ibn Faru. Guys, let's get straight into this. Oh, but it's done. I know that you believe that Isa is the Messiah. Uh, yeah, we believe. Yeah, good. So far, so good. He's a prophet. Yes, and we don't worship him, right? Uh, that's good. Do you worship Muhammad? Nope. Yes, 100%. We worship none but one Allah. The one that inspired Isa, the one that Jesus put his forehead on the ground and prayed to, that one God, that's the one we worship. What about you? I worship Yeshua. The what? So is it the one God or is it Jesus included in that? Yeshua was empowered by the one God. Okay. He did many miracle, miraculous things. Well, you don't worship the one God, you worship the one that was empowered by the God? If you say you worship the one that was empowered by God, then you're worshiping the one. No, one I wouldn't say that, well, right? You wouldn't, I, but yeah. I do. Okay, so did Yeshua, Jesus... Don't say Jesus. Don't say Jesus? No, oh, man, I like you, man. What kind of Christian are you guys? Nazareans. Nazareans. I don't know uh, much Nazarene, about Nazarene. Uh, Nazareans. 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 Like of Nazareth. Of like, Nazareth, okay. But the word stems from Netzarim. Okay. And he shall be known as a Netzarim. Okay. Netzarim is branch. Okay. So as Zachariah said, his name shall be branch or Netzarim. So, uh, so in Matthew, it says he shall be known as a Nazarene. I like you. Nazarene. Okay. So that's what that means. Nazarene. I was actually challenged by a Jewish person who said Matthew was an idiot. I said, why is Matthew an idiot? Uh -huh. He says, because he made false, false prophecies. He says, if you read the scripture where it says, he shall be known as a Nazarene, where in the, in the uh, Hebrew scriptures is that? Right. And I didn't know. So I researched, I researched, and I found it in Zechariah. Nice. Shall be known, and I found out the meaning of Nazarene or Nazarene. Great. So let me ask you, so the Christians that call uh, Yeshua, Jesus, why did they do that? Through ignorance. Ignorance. Okay. If you read a 1611 English version of the Bible, mm -hmm. it doesn't say Jesus, it says Isis. Okay. okay, like Isa. If you go further into like maybe the Greek lang language where that came from, I like it. Isus. Okay. Isus is a transliteration of Yeshua, the Aramaic form of okay. Joshua. So all these Christians like Mr. Wood and Sam and all these guys and that, that go around talking about Jesus, they're ignorant. Yes. Okay, good, man. I, I like you. You're educating me. I appreciate that. Thank you. That's a paper. What is this? It's a paper. Okay. I, I realize it's a paper. <laughs> What's it about? You're a smart guy there. Hey, you're real smart. You know, you know, I got to like you somehow. <laughs> uh, so, this is on the name. So, in Acts 4.12, uh, when the name was revealed, or it was given to the... Um, Apostle Peter and uh, Peter and John, they're in front of the Sanhedrin. They said there's only one name by which they must be saved that's given under heaven. The name was Yahshua. When uh, Moses was on the mountain and he asked God, what should we name our, what should I tell the people of Egypt? And he mm -hmm. said, I am who I am, which is in Hebrew is actually Haya Asher Haya, or yod Hey wad Hey, which is the tetragrammaton. So, I mean, first thing, I really appreciate the knowledge. Like I like to learn, right? So you believe that the Bible is the word of God? Yes. yes. No mistakes, no contradictions? No, there are t mistakes, there are contradictions. There are things that man... Okay. For example, of man. Okay, if, so if that's read, good to know. When you find that the apostles were doing one thing and the, and the Word was saying to do another... Mm, interesting. That's a contradiction. So you believe there are contradictions and mistakes in the Bible? Yes. But well, you just said yes. So. Hold on, hold on, yes. Okay. So, like, for example, Matthew 28, 19, where it okay. says, Go and baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Okay. Not... No, he never said that. He never said that. So that's a lie. You look at a book. It's called. Uh, it's written by Eusebius. Okay. He writes. Eusebius. Yeah. Yeah. He writes, yeah. yeah. The liar. Yeah. The actual. Huh? He was known as a liar, right? He he said. No, no, Eusebius. No, he was, he was historian. Yeah, yeah, he, he actually, I know Eusebius, and he he said he would fabricate for spreading his religion and things. He was. If you look him up in his biography, he's known as a fabricator, right? Eusebius. No. No? Okay. We'll look him up, but go ahead. So what did he say? He was a bishop. So yeah, I know, be, I, I know who he is. Yeah. You can't be a fabricator. You bishop. can be, but that's okay. No. But I mean, Catholics... Not among the, the, the people. Not among the, people. the Catholics that, that had bishops, that many of them lied, right? Okay. So you can be a bishop and be a liar, right? You can be uh, an e-man and be a murderer. Oh, I agree. So, but, but he was a liar, 
And he, you saying he was a no, bishop, so no, he can't no, no. be. No, I, I, I've studied Eusebius. Okay. So I don't know okay. if he lies. If you I'll, do, you, sure. can, you can share him with me. But I, I will. I don't know if he okay, lies. Okay, but go ahead. Say what he was saying. Anyway, the, the point is, is that during 325 AD, when they were having the Council of Nicaea, Nicaea yeah. he actually wrote down Matthew 28, 19, uh, what he actually said. He says, go and make disciples in my name. Nothing about baptizing in the name of the Ooh. Father, or the Son, or the Holy Ghost. So the Bible, as we have it also today. Also, in 1 John go ahead. 5, 7, it's an interpolation. What mm. that means is it wasn't originally in the uh, uh, scriptures. Mm. So there's like two main pillars of the Trinity. Okay. The two main pillars are Matthew 28, 19 and 1 John 5, 7. Okay. 1 John 5, 7 is a known interpolation. I'm with you. So okay. the Trinity is false. Yes. yes All right, man, you guys are close to us. All right, keep they going, keep going. So do we. Excellent. So go ahead. So you're saying the Trinity was a false doctrine that yeah. was introduced into Christianity, yes. and yes. and this Bible today has contradictions and fake verses that were put in. Uh, right? It does have interpolations. Very few, but it has. Them. And it has numeric contradictions. Numeric. Yeah. You mean like a thousand here, but really it's only a hundred there. Is that what you mean? Clear numeric contradictions, like eight and eighteen and twenty-two and forty-two. That, that may be. Maybe. So you, you base your faith on a book that you know has clear contradictions and additions and fabrications. The reason why is uh -huh. because the reason why I was able to point out to you the interpolations sure. is because I look for continuity. Okay. And when I find continuity, I know that I find truth. Okay. So let me ask you, you can tell me which one is the truth then, okay? All right. So here, Jehovah Chin was how old? You want to read it for me? It's like he was 18. Okay, was read. 8? Okay, go ahead. 2nd uh, uh, second second Kings, Kings 24, 24 8. Jehoiakim. Jehoiakim was 18 years old when he became king and he reigned in Jerusalem for thirteen or three months. Excuse me. Oh, excellent. How old was he? 18. Here, 2nd Chronicles 36, 9. Jehoiakim. Uh, Jehovah, is that his pronunciation? Jehoiakim. Jehoiakim was 8 years old when he became king and he reigned in Jerusalem three months and ten days. So how could he be eight and eighteen at the same time? It's a mistake. Yes. All right, so good, we agree there's mistakes no, in the no. Bible. But here's the deal. The Chronicles was written for like Israel. Okay. And uh, kings, or maybe the other way around, I can't remember, was okay. written for Judah. Okay. So there was two kingdoms. Okay. And they didn't always see eye to eye on things. So there are mistakes though. Can you go back to this? Sure. I want to take the digital. No problem. Yeah, we're not like King James only, you know. Yeah, well, I'm not King James only. I mean, if you look well, at another Bible, not. I'm not. <laughs> I, know you're I got not. the NSAIB uh, or NSC. Uh, are we being recorded, by the way? Uh, uh, yes, we are. Yeah, yeah, if okay, you don't like to be, I can no, turn no, it I to me. I need him to stand on the other side of me. Okay, go ahead, stand on the other side. See how it is. You, 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 you want his good side. This is my good side, so you are You're a handsome man. Every side of yours is a good side, don't worry. Perfect. This okay. is really, uh, that's very interesting you pointed out. It is, right? I Let really, me show I you like a couple it. more interesting things. Okay, let's see it. And, and by the way, again, I really appreciate you sharing this knowledge with me because I have really been looking for Christians that would teach Christians about this. Because when we talk to Christians and tell them, hey, Jesus wasn't his name, they get mad at us. But when you have an educated Christian explaining, well, and that's why I will... It's not his name. Right? What name is it? So you have, uh, as you were saying, Yeshua, right? In the uh, Old Joshua. Testament, Joshua. And we, we can show on that paper that I gave you. I'm going to read it. Don't worry. Okay. okay this? this is Second Kings. Can Go ahead. It? Please. Does it say Azra? Azra. Isaiah. 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 This one? Isaiah, yeah. Isaiah was 22 years old when he became king. And he reigned one year in Jerusalem. Keep yeah. going. So just we Keep know. Going? Yeah. Okay. Okay. His mother's name was? His mother's name was... Oh, Atalia. Atalia, the granddaughter of Omar, of Omar king of Israel. Okay, okay. wait, wait. Go ahead. This real quick? Please. Okay. Is this uh, NKJV? This is the Are you yeah, new. Uh, yeah, you could say that. Okay. Exactly. You read your Bible pretty much. I do. And I read my Bible before I started my Islamic studies. So don't think I read it to argue. Were you born I, in Islamic? Uh, I was born in a Muslim family, but I wasn't raised amongst Muslims. So okay. I was raised going to church. So I used to go to a, yeah, I was raised going like to church. Oh, so there, this is a verse just here. Just the blue? Yes, please. Okay. 
Ezra was 42 years old when he became king, and he reigned one year in Jerusalem. Keep reading. Okay. His mother' name was Aliyah, Athaliah, the, Athaliah, the granddaughter of Omar. See Umri, yeah. Umri. So sorry. now it's okay, perfect. So now you have 22 and 42. Which one was it? So we have uh, numbers. That, that are, are clearly contradictory. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, so there are mistakes, right? So granted. It's a very important point to note here. These are not average Christians. These are well-read Bible thumpers, people who are out there preaching. They were at the pier that day with their own table. They're walking around, giving out pamphlets, preaching. I looked up their information. They have their own church. They have their own study circles for the Bible. And they know that there are mistakes in the Bible, that there are co clear contradictions in the Bible. There are things that have been changed in the Bible. They admit to it. And we hope that this will be a means for average Christians to know that they're being fooled by their pastors, by their preachers, by these charlatans who try to preach to them something that they know has been corrupted. We're going to continue the da'wah for them, and we want everybody to make du'a that Allah guides them to Islam, the religion of truth, to the Qur'an, the book with no contradictions, with no mistakes, Kalam Allah, the words of Allah. That <sighs> this is pretty hard for me, but I, I, I don't think he really... Ah, I, I'm not supposed to make this reaction. I don't know why I'm supposed to make this. But like, I feel the the way to treat is kind of heartbreaking and and shit, guys. This this is this is hard. Okay, okay. Now I can see this contradictions in the Bible, and I, someone have actually proved this to me before, my like, on Instagram. Thank you, by the way. I know you watch my content, so. Yeah, see, I've actually proved to me that there's contradiction in the Bible, and I just keep feeling that I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but today just made me sure. Like, I, I'm supposed to go to school in an hour time, and this, 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 this is possible. Like, right? I'm actually going to a Christian school with a lot of pastors, and I can tell you. I'm not gonna sleep on this. I'm going to ask my questions. Like, I need clarity, and there's one thing I build my faith in is the fact that Jesus died. Forget about the Trinity. I don't really. I'll be honest. The Trinity has always been toiling totally with me. Like, if you watch my channel, if you watch my content, since you understand. And there's a teach. There's a lecture of mine that actually said that uh, he did his masters like he he did a i don't know if his masters or a like he had a certificate in trinity so i met him yesterday and he said that and i was like i want to talk to you my research bro now this is making my mind go crazy i have to do it today i have to get something out of my chest but there is something that i know christians put their faith in and it's the fact that Jesus died. I don't really think Christians put their faith in the Trinity or contradictions in the Bible. We'll put our faith in the fact that Jesus died on the cross and the fact that he said that the only way to go to God is through him. And I understand the Islamic points when they say that there's not supposed to be a mediator. You're supposed to be able to communicate with God by yourself. And that point is actually valid. Maybe that's why the Trinity came into play so you can say, I don't know. Guys, please don't make me go mad. Like, I'm taken. See, let me accept the truth gradually. Please don't stop it on my throat. Guys, don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'm off, guys. I'll see you next time.